Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome to another video. This week I have something a little bit different for you. Rather than a big meal prep that I'm doing, I'm just kind of doing like a food prep where I'm just making a few things just to have throughout the week. I actually wasn't even going to share this video. I kind of debated about it, but I know a lot of you ask, what do I do on weeks that I don't actually do a full meal prep? So I thought I'd just take you along. This should be a fairly quick video. These are really easy recipes to throw together. So if you're new here on my channel, I do share Weight Watcher points and I also share calories as well. Also, any of the recipes I share will be linked down in the description box below, as well as links to some of the items that I use. So now let's jump right into this week's video. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my eggs cooking. I'm going to be making egg salad. So I'm going to cook my eggs in the Instant Pot. I love making eggs in the Instant Pot. They just cook so perfect every single time and they peel really good. So I'm going to be putting seven eggs in here. I'm actually just going to be using six eggs for the egg salad. So I'll just have one hard boiled egg that I'll eat. So I have one cup of water down in the bottom of the Instant Pot. And then I've got my eggs there on a little trivet. I'm going to put my little Nelson steam diverter on here. He's so cool. <laughs> so I'm going to cook these on high pressure for seven minutes. And then I'm going to do a quick release when they're done. So while the eggs are cooking, I'm going to start on my black bean salsa. I've heard this called so many things. I've heard it black bean salad, three bean salad, depending on how many beans you use. I've heard it called cowboy caviar, lots of different things, but I call it black bean salsa. So you can really kind of make this your own. You can put whatever type of beans in it. You can, some people use canned tomatoes. Some people use whole tomatoes. So it's just completely up to you. But I'm going to share with you the way that I make it. So the first thing I'm going to do is rinse my beans. I have a can of cannellini beans, a can of black beans, and a can of corn. I typically use two cans of black beans, but I was all out. I just had one can, so I just subbed one of them for cannellini beans. And then the recipe calls for tomatoes that you peel, like you use two tomatoes and peel them yourself. I didn't feel like peeling tomatoes, so I'm just using these uh, whole peeled tomatoes that I get from Thrive Market. I've just rinsed them to get some of that tomato sauce off of there and then just chop them up. And actually with the tomatoes, I ended up adding two more tomatoes here towards the end. You'll see that I add a little bit more tomato, but completely up to you how much of everything you want to use. And then I'm just chopping up a red onion. So I've got a pretty large onion here. So I just ended up using half of it. But normally I would use like a full small onion. Next, I'm going to add avocado. I usually put two whole avocados in it, but I only had one and a half. So that's what I'm using. So I'm just cutting those up and putting that in there. You'll see I have a half an avocado in a mason jar. Usually I use my little food huggers. They're just food huggers that they just, they're like silicone things that go around and I have one for an avocado, but I had just read recently that you can actually store it in a mason jar, put the top on there. And this has been in there for about 24 hours. And as you can see, it still looks really good. So I'll probably be using the mason jars more. Next, I'm going to cut up some cilantro, and I've mentioned several times in my household, we are opposite. I love cilantro. I think it gives it such a nice, fresh flavor. My husband, though, got hit with that gene that makes it taste like soap. So let me know, did you get my husband's gene, or do you love cilantro like I do? So now I'm just letting the steam out. So as you can see, all this diverter does is it just diverts the steam to the side instead of going up under your cabinets. So now I'm going to put my eggs in a quick ice bath, which as you can see, I don't have ice in here. My freezer, uh, my ice maker on my freezer is broke right now. So I've just got a couple ice packs in there and that's totally fine because it's not going in there with the eggs. I'm going to be peeling my eggs anyway. And while my eggs are cooling, I'm going to get back to working on the black bean salsa. So now I'm going to add all the beans and corn to my bowl here. And as you can see, I have quite a bit in there. So I'm just going to transfer it to a larger bowl so I have more room to stir. So now I'm just adding some salt and pepper. And then I'm going to add in some lime juice. Now you're going to see here that I only add two tablespoons of lime juice, but it actually calls for a quarter of a cup. So off camera, I ended up adding two more. I don't know what I was thinking when I made it. I knew it was two tablespoons of olive oil and I was thinking it was the same amount of lime juice, but it's not. And if you have regular limes, the regular fresh lime juice does taste better. But if you don't have it, you can just use the kind like I used. 
So then I'm adding in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and also one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. And then just give that all a good stir. And then I'm going to add in, like I said, I'm going to add in two more tomatoes and then just stir that up. And then I'll just store that in my fridge. Now you can have this however you want. A lot of people eat these, they'll eat this like as a salsa with tor uh, tortilla chips. But honestly, I just like it plain by itself. I'll usually have like a half a cup of it with as a side dish to lunch. Or sometimes I'll just have this as my lunch and maybe add some protein on the side with it. Definitely something you can kind of mix and match. Sometimes I'll just open my fridge and grab a little bit just to snack on if I get a little bit hungry throughout the day. Okay, so now while my eggs finish cooling, I'm going to put together my egg salad. So in a bowl here, I'm just adding three tablespoons of light mayonnaise. I just use the Hellman's light mayonnaise, but feel free to use whatever kind of mayonnaise you want. And if you don't even want to lose, use light, you can use regular. I'll put the points and calories up that are using it exactly with the brands that I use. But like I always say, make sure to put it in your own tracker because all the brands can be different. So I have three tablespoons of mayonnaise in there, and then I'm going to add about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, which I actually end up adding about another teaspoon here later in the video. You'll see I added some to it. I like mine kind of chunky, so if you like it creamy, you can add more mayonnaise. I'm also going to be adding some green olives to mine. It, this just gives it so much good flavor. I love green olives in both tuna fish and in egg salad. They're really good. But I'm not going to add those until after I get the eggs and everything in there. That way I can kind of gauge and see exactly how much I'm putting in there. So I'm going to add in just some salt and pepper, which honestly, had I thought of it ahead of time, I would say skip the salt. And the next time I make this, I'll skip the salt because there is plenty enough salt in the olives. So definitely really don't need the salt in it. So now my eggs are cooled down and I'm going to get these peeled. And I'm just showing you here how easy these are to peel. And actually, honestly, this first one gave me a little bit more trouble than the rest of them. And as you can see, there's really no trouble. I mean, it just peeled right off, but the rest of them were like, I cracked them in the middle and it just came right apart. So I'm also gonna cut it open though, just so you can see what the seven minutes on high pressure does. So like I said, I like mine hard boiled, but if you like a more of a soft boil, you can do anywhere from like three minutes to seven minutes in the instant pot. Three minutes would be the softest boil and then seven minutes hard boiled. So I'm just gonna get the rest of these peeled up and then I'm just gonna mash them up and mix it all together. And then I'm gonna add another, about another teaspoon of the Dijon mustard and then also the green olives. You can also add other things like I've added bacon to this before. Sometimes I'll put a little dash of vinegar in there if I want to give it more of like a deviled egg flavor. I'll add a little bit of vinegar. And then I usually will just eat this plain, honestly. Sometimes I'll put it like in a little wellness wrap, like a high fiber wellness wrap. Sometimes I'll put it on bread, just depends on my mood. But pretty much, I'd say 90% of the time, I just put it in a little bowl and I just eat it with a spoon. I just love it plain. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll, instead of egg salad for lunch, I will eat the egg salad as my breakfast. All right, next I'm going to roast some vegetables. So I've got some, two trays here that I have aluminum foil down on and I've sprayed them with some cooking spray. On one tray I have broccoli and on the other one I have zucchini and also it's just one zucchini and then a bag of Brussels sprouts. And then I'm just going to put some salt and pepper on those and drizzle it with extra virgin olive oil. And these will go in the oven 425 degrees for about 20 minutes. Usually when I prep these ahead of time, I do 20 minutes because I'm gonna be cooking them in the microwave as well. If I were to have these right after I made them, I'd probably maybe roast them for about 25 minutes. I just like mine really roasted, but completely up to you how, how you do them. And then when they're done, I'll just put them in meal prep containers. Sometimes I'll eat them with breakfast. I love vegetables with breakfast. I'll actually eat vegetables any time of the day, to be honest. So I'll put the broccoli in one meal prep container and then the zucchini and Brussels sprouts in another. And then, like I said, those will just go in my fridge and I can use them for whenever I want throughout the week. So now I'm just gonna bake some chicken. I have a pan that I've lined with aluminum foil and sprayed with cooking spray. I'm just using these Just Bare lightly breaded chicken breast strips for this week. For these, you can have two of them or 93 grams for five points or 170 calories. 
And normally what I do is air fry these when I have these. But for this week, since my oven is already on, I decided to just go ahead and bake them in the oven. They actually cook good both ways. So I get this great big bag from Sam's Club. But if you have, if you live in the South and you have a Publix near you, you can get them from Publix as well. Although Sam's Club, they're definitely cheaper than Publix. And one thing about these is they are really good. If you make uh, like a homemade KFC bowl, these work out perfect for those. You can just make them, cut them into bite-sized pieces, and then make yourself some corn and some mashed potatoes, top it with the chicken, and then drizzle it with some gravy. We've had these with that, and it works out really well. But honestly, these work real well with just a regular like Caesar salad or some type of lettuce salad, and just put these over top. So these are just great to have in your fridge if you don't have time to make, you know, like some homemade chicken. And that's it. Like I said, I'll just put this, cover this bowl, put it in my fridge, and then I can mix and match. For lunch, I can have some of these with the vegetables or whatever, however I want to mix and match throughout the week. So that's my little food prep for this week. Again, nothing fancy, but just kind of some things that you can throw, just throw together to have in your fridge. Now, a lot of times, usually what I do when I food prep is I will put together some proteins as well. But this week for proteins, we have one night we're having salmon, one night we're doing a shrimp meal, and one night we're doing scallops. So there really wasn't many proteins that I needed to prep for this week. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.